Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome to Bane of the Pumpkin Lord, a new adventure map from Minecraft 1.8. If you're just joining us, we're exploring this little village nestled in the mountains, but something dark is going on here, something sinister. There's a few too many skulls on the ground for my taste, a few more than usual in a township of this size. Also, over here we've got some gallows and a functioning guillotine. That might have something to do with all these skulls around. We just need to investigate, though, and learn the secrets of this place. Now, I'm on a mission from my father to collect five items, and we've got three of them so far, so we almost have completed our task. My dad is a priest, I guess. His name is also Adam. I think he's a little vain, because he named me Adam as well, so I don't really trust him. I found a secret here in the Alchemist. If I push these buttons, there's water that comes out of <laughs> those blocks, and then this one... There's uh, some lava, or blood, I'm not really sure. Nice little easter egg there. The uh, the creator of this map, Deathwind31, he's done a really good job of using a bunch of new features. Like this over here, it's an invisible armor stand holding an axe, so it looks like the axe is chopping the, the wood block there. Alright, so let's get exploring. Now, we went to the graveyard, there wasn't too much there. Something mysterious, there's a uh, gold block on the door, that'll probably come into play later, I'm guessing. Now, I want to thank you guys for leaving comments and suggestions. Uh, user Legoscar actually mentioned that I forgot this key back in a chest, so uh, I went back and got it. So now we have that, and uh, I organized my items a little bit more. Here we go, Zad for the tailor. Now we're looking for a red cloth. Oh, he also mentioned, uh, Legoscar mentioned that I, he, I should take the armor off the armor stands, but you actually can't with the, uh, the armor stands that are on display, but that's alright. I've got some armor already. Hello, there's Zadfar. Let's ask about uh, the cloth here. Sure, you can. if you can get the sewing machine downstairs to work, then you can have all as much cloth as you want. I just got this dang thing and it was already broken. Okay, so let's uh, hop the desk and go downstairs. See his ad for... Oh, cool. He also used armor stands for this. Look at that. It looks like the little leather and stuff is sitting on the table. That's really cool. Oh, we got some red dye. Okay, so we're going to need that. Some shears. We're going to cut some wool, I guess. Okay, let's head downstairs and see what we can see. Start engine. Can we turn on the machine? Whoa! Oh, engine failure. White wool is required, no dye found. Okay, so we need to turn the engine on. There's a machine. Oh, cool! It's like a little conveyor belt with the wool. There's the engine room. Wool selection, dye storage. Okay, so we need white wool and not black wool. There we go. That makes sense. If we're trying to dye it, we want the wool to be white. What's up here? Dye storage. Oh, I got some red dye. Okay, let's put this in. Here we go. Oh, and it's eating it up. Nom, nom, nom. All right. And we just have to fix the engine. He said it was broken. So I don't know if we, uh, I need another cookie to think. Oh, jeez, look at all this. Output to engine, engine, input. Do we need to, that's kind of moved over. I wonder if we have to move that block or something. We got wire cutters. Okay, so we can break dust and redstone torches. All right, this is gonna be interesting. We have to uh, move stuff around, I guess. Cause look, yeah, there's like a big chunk here where this could probably connect. So what redstone can we take? I don't know, I'm just gonna start breaking stuff and see what we can get here. Let me grab that. Oh, that lit that up. Oh, I wonder if I can connect this. We need another redstone. Let me try that. Let me grab that. And then there, it lit that up. Oh, did that actually work? Whoa, things are moving. Things are moving. It's going, it's going. Okay, cool, I guess we did it. <laughs> that was easy. I just kind of put some redstone here and connected it. Is that, I guess that worked. Okay, let's go see. Stuff's moving around. I don't know if that worked. We're gonna turn the switch on and see if uh, we can get this thing moving. Uh, starting engine, nice. Okay, let's go watch. There we go. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's putting the die in there and uh, moving along at a good pace. Nice, this is awesome. He's using some different commands to make it look like it's actually making it. Oh, it squished the, the cloth down. Oh, this is cool. All right, and here it comes. It's coming out of the conveyor belt. There, and where's my where's my cloth? I need it. Oh, there it is. Yes. Aha, we got it. All right, so that is four items down, I believe. We only need uh, one more thing. Actually, we only have the iron for the sword. We still have to make the sword, but that's okay. We got our fire resist potion, our holy water, our iron for the sword, and now we've got the red cloth. Okay. Uh, see you, Zadfar. Zadfar, however you want to say it. So what else? We need something else here. We need the, uh, what was it? Moonlit pumpkin. And the farmer's right here. Okay, so let's go talk to the farmer. Got a lot of pumpkins here. They're all kind of creepy looking. Pumpkin, pumpkins, they look like, I don't know. We Remember earlier we saw, if you watched the first episode, we saw zombies with pumpkin heads. So I'm like paranoid they're gonna pop out of the ground 
and uh, attack. I'll just be taking his potatoes. Some of you guys were getting uh, <laughs> getting on me for taking the bread out of the church, but my father works there. That's my daddy's bread, so I was able to take it, and, and he wanted me to have it so I would not be hungry while I'm adventuring, and that's how that works. So <laughs> I just I kind of naturally want to take stuff out of chests. It's like Zelda or something. You want to go loot people's houses. Tanagor the farmer. Hello, Tanagor. Let's ask about the moonlit pumpkin. Moonlit pumpkins? They need at least a year under the moonlight to grow. I remember the mage had a scroll to help them grow faster, but no one has heard of him for months and the tower is barricaded. Maybe Jack can help me bring down those barricades. I don't know who Jack is, but... Oh, this guys he has got a book on moonlit pumpkins. I'm gonna leave the shears here. I don't really need that. Don't want to leave my key again. Oh, uh, moonlit pumpkins. They are one of the most valuable things I can grow. Used in alchemy and a lot more. Their prices can go as high as 15 to 20 emeralds each. Our town is one of the few places where they can grow. I've got 17 emeralds. So maybe I could buy a moonlit pumpkin. I don't know. Yeah, the uh, the key. It was really funny because I went back and I had to like figure out where I dropped that key because Lego Scar mentioned I uh, lost it. And I looked back in the video and I was in the miner's house and was just like, "All right, we gotta drop some stuff off here. This key is very important. I don't want to lose it." And then I uh, put it in the chest immediately after. Here's Jack, the lumberjack. Whoa, this is cool. He's got these axes hanging up here. That's awesome. Ask about the barricades. Mm, I think only the barricades of the right balcony can be brought down. You should be able to access the right balcony by climbing to the top of the church and then jumping on the top of your house. Mm, but first, you will need an axe. Bring me some yellow flowers from the graveyard and I will trade you one that will bring these barricades down in no time. Okay, oh, we can break it with that. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, I almost dropped my key there again. Jeez, I gotta be careful. I should cook these potatoes. We have plenty of food though. He's got different uh, variety of wood on display. Okay, so we're going to the graveyard. I might keep my sword out. I'm a little worried that we're going to get jumped by undead here. But yeah, see, there's that gold block, and I bet we're going to have to do something with that. The key is uh, actually can only place it on quartz, so I wonder what we're going to use that for. Let's grab these flowers. I think he said ten, right? Ten flowers. Let me make sure I'm getting enough here. Here we go, five. I'm really paranoid that these, <laughs> these graves are just going to open up. Hey! There we go. I don't know if I need these bones. I've got so much stuff here. I went back and grabbed some of these hearts of notch because I noticed I left one behind and uh, I don't know if I need those either but couldn't hurt to collect them I guess. I'm just taking up inventory space. <laughs> I feel like we're gearing up for a fight here though soon. As soon as we collect all these items something crazy is going to happen. Alright, let's have a little chicken break. That'll clear up some space in my inventory. And there's that bread that I stole. Okay, Jack, I got your flowers. Hey buddy, there we go. What else are you selling? Bedrock for bedrock, that old trade. <laughs> That's just to make sure that uh, they can't trade anymore past this. Okay, so we can break dark oak fence with this axe. And how do we, he said go on top of the church and then jump on our house and then, cause see these are barricaded up, I can't break through there. All right, let's go up in the church and try to get our way down. And hopefully we can get into the mage's tower. I'm a little worried the mage might be mad. Hello, there's my daddy. There's my dad there. Alright, we're going up the tower here. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. I don't know why there's so many skeletons around or what's going on in this town. I have a feeling that I'm going to get all this stuff from my dad and then he's going to like betray me or something. Okay, so we need to... This is the other tower. I can't get down into there. We can jump down here. Oh, jeez. Broke my ankles a little, but I'm okay. There's my house. Alright, oh, can we use this little thing to jump? There we go. Over and haha. -ha. It said we can break dark oak with this uh, this axe here. And we can. There we go. Alright, we're in. Mr. Mage, hello. Hello, Mr. Mage. What's down here? Ooh. If we wanted to enchant stuff. Jeez. Everybody's got their skull collection going. Let's, uh, can we do this real quick? Let me put my sword here. Maybe we can get. Oh, I don't have any lapis, so we can't actually enchant. I forgot we need to use lapis in 1.8 to enchant a little bit of a. Uh, magical price other than just levels but it is cheaper to enchant so that's kind of nice whoa, whoa whoa going upstairs hello let's talk to this guy a moonlit scroll used to grow moonlit pumpkins i guess i should talk to him first before i steal his scroll what how did you get in here anyway i've been looking for you everywhere there's something you need to know about your father i'm currently collecting some items for him what's wrong oh you are then come meet me when you get you're done I don't want him to get suspicious Oh, there's a teleportation spell on the front door now. No need to enter like a burglar again. <laughs> okay, let's grab this. I guess I'll leave this uh, furnace fuel behind. We don't really need that. I have a pumpkin, too, that I guess I don't really need. Pumpkin Lord. 
So talk about the Pumpkin Lord. The Pumpkin Lord is said to be the King of the Undead, keeping them under control. No one knows much about him, and the people who have actually seen him are very few. This has led some people to think that of him as nothing uh, else but a myth. Okay, I guess I'll leave this here. I'm gonna take my list. I gotta make sure I got all my stuff that I need. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> teleported right out. Okay, so we got that scroll. Let's go grow those moonlit pumpkin. And then last but not least, we'll go to the blacksmith and get my sword made. And we are done. We've got all the stuff. And then everything is just gonna change, I'm sure. Let's activate the scroll. Aha, scroll activated. Whoa! <gasps> it's magic. The pumpkins, they're growing. The moonlit pumpkins. Awesome. <gasps> there they are. Whoa, whoa, they dropped everywhere. Okay, let me, uh, I guess I don't need that scroll anymore. So we got some moonlit pumpkins. Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> nice little particle effects there. So that is, uh, one of the last things we need. Let's go see. It it keeps uh, not doing the little effect when I get one of the items I need, but that's all right. I know that's the one that I want there. And uh, blacksmith is over this way. Okay, so we gathered the iron from the mine. He said we might have to forge our own sword. So let me talk to him again. Ask about the sword. Hello? Hello? Clamore? Oh, no, we have to trade him. Okay. Let's see. Unfinished sword must be placed in the forge. Okay. Let's grab that. I don't need that iron anymore. <laughs> you should be. Here. Go and use the forge now. Here, I will open the door for you. Okay, so we have this forge. Our unforged sword. Let's go into the forge. Ugh, this is creepy. This feels like a trap. Maybe he's in cahoots with my father. Oh, the cool tower that we saw that was on fire. This is the forge. Alright, let's go in. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Uh, this couldn't be a little safer. Look at these stairs. There's no guardrail. They're not even really connected. Ugh, ugh. Okay, we're going down, going down. Jeez, this is the worst forge ever. <laughs> it's cool looking, but it also looks like a medieval tortured tower. Okay, we're down. If we fall, then we can get back up there, I guess, with the ladder. Aha, this is nice. Forge, place item in hopper. Let me see, flip that. There we go. Let me look at what else is going on here before we forge our sword. I'm grabbing emeralds. I don't know if we need them for anything, but I'm grabbing them anyways. Okay. So let's put our sword in and forge it. Oh, I can hear it. Sizzling. Oh, cool. Oh, and we got it. Reinforced iron sword. And that is the last item we need here. We got all five. Holy water, moonlit pumpkins, red cloth, fire resist potion, and our magical iron sword thing. So let's go. The red cloth seems kind of evil. I don't know about the sword. Usually iron is used to defeat evil creatures in like fairy tales and you know different folklore so I don't know these do kind of seem a little suspicious can we just jump through the tree nope he thought of that <laughs> there's barrier blocks there okay we got all our items let's go talk to pop pop and see what he wants hopefully he's not gonna like kill me or something now that I <laughs> got everything that he needs and uh, we've checked off the entire list I don't want to go into the guillotine here we go all right pops I got all your stuff hello Oh, how do I, I ask about everything? I got everything though. I got the cloth, I got the I got the fire resist, holy water, reinforced iron sword, red cloth, and moonlit pumpkin. Hey, Pops, I got everything. Okay guys, I think I fixed it. There's some redstone right under this fountain here and it detects whether you have the five items you need to complete the quest. Well, the clock on it got a little stuck, but I think it is, there we go. You probably noticed earlier these fireworks didn't go off when I collected these, but we got all three of them now. I better return to my father now. He should still be at the church. So if you have this problem, if you log out of the world and log back in, I think the clock gets stuck. Just go under the ground there and uh, replace the redstone, and it should work. So let's go into the church now that we have all five items. I bet Daddy's going to like summon a demon or something with all this stuff, but I guess we got to complete the quest. We can't keep the map going without doing this. Thanks a lot, my son. The celebration will be better than ever. I better return to the mage now. I'm so suspicious of him. I don't know. He, he's so different. I bet I was adopted. He's got that huge nose, and he always keeps his arms crossed so stern. And I got these crazy arms that just fly around when I run. Okay, so let's go up and see the mage, and hopefully he will tell me that deep, dark secret about my daddy. And uh, I, he said the celebration. I bet he's going to do something evil. Let's see. Hello. So have you ever wondered what is in that left tower of the church? Throw it on the doors of the left tower and the truth will be finally revealed. 
Throw the potion on the doors of the left tower. Where it is? Oh, here we go. It weakens structures and not just people. Okay, let's go to that tower. I, I was wondering what was in there because it was locked, so there's got to be something secret and evil, and we're going to find out. Here we go. I don't want to actually gently toss this on something else and uh, ha not have another one. Oh, my dad's gone. Okay, now's the time to get into his uh, closet and get his secret stuff. There we go. <laughs> the broke the door. That was pretty cool. Okay. And we are headed up the tower. Oh, extra skulls. Just in case you need any more skulls around town, this is where they keep the extra ones. Nether rack. Uh, there's something demonic and dark going on for sure. Okay. Ooh, a lot of potion supplies if we want some. I got a couple fire resist potions. I don't think we need any of that stuff. <gasps> Diamond armor. Thank you very much. And a diamond sword. We don't even need this sword anymore. We've got a lot of gear. I bet we're going to go fight something. The Royal Grave Key. Used to open the Royal Grave in the graveyard. So that's what that block of gold was about. And there's a journal from the priest. All right. I'm going to leave this list of ingredients. Don't need that anymore. Let's read the journal. It's been 20 years since I left my kingdom to come here and become a priest. Finally, I am free from this curse. The weight of the undead kingdom is no longer on me. I have to protect my son. He is a prince, and the Pumpkin Lord will now be looking for him. He is the only one with royal blood in... <laughs> and I guess he died before, you know. That was, I think, Daddy's journal there. And uh, he couldn't complete it. And there's a pumpkin. So the Pumpkin Prince, or Pumpkin Lord, is looking for me. And I'm a prince, I guess. I got all this diamond armor, and I got this ratty old leather helmet. That's okay. I should have used some of the dye from uh, <laughs> at the tailors and dyed my helmet red. That would have been cooler looking. Okay. So we need to go to the graveyard, but we're going to do that next time. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I think things are going to get a bit more exciting soon because we're going to go see what is in that grave, and I bet it's going to be something to fight. I'll see you guys then for more Bane of the Pumpkin Lord. Goodbye.